Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. No, no, but buddy, don't. Uh, y y you don't have to call me, okay? Good idea. You call me. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. I painted a picture of a butterfly. Good. I'm gonna hang up now. I turned the piano. Okay, I love you. Bye. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a special gross-out holiday episode of Binging with Babish, and I think this place needs a little bit of holiday cheer. Let's, uh... That's eh, good enough. So to make Buddy's dessert breakfast pasta, and that's a rare triple oxymoron, by the way, boil your pasta, have a friendly Fraser debate. Who do you think is hot, or Ross or Daphne? Ross. People have meetings. Wait, what's season? And you want to cook your pasta slightly underdone because we are going to finish cooking it in the sauce. This is an important tip and easy way to upgrade almost any pasta sauce. So you want to add the pasta to some bubbling sauce in a saute pan, give it a good flip. Now we're going to finish it with a solid tablespoon of butter. This is going to add a lot of richness and unctuousness to the sauce. And of course, don't forget a little bit of olive oil. Toss that in there. Really try to get some air to impress any kind of YouTube audience that might be watching. And just visually, you're going to see a huge difference between pasta that was just tossed with the sauce and pasta that was finished with butter and olive oil in the pan. I mean, which one would you rather eat? I'm going to go ahead and destroy the worst one. Save the good one for later because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. And it's time to buddy up our pasta. We're starting with chocolate chips, a handful of M&Ms, and an entire fudge Pop-Tart broken into pieces. Make sure you use one of the hard corners for a little bit of garnish. It's oddly beautiful in a David Lynch movie kind of way. Handful of marshmallows, good glug of maple syrup, caramel sauce, and of course, chocolate sauce. And it's time to tuck in. Now this was far and away the most disgusting thing not only have I made for this show, but I've ever made in my entire life. Gotta get that horrible flavor out of my mouth. Stat. Mm. 